Three, two, one, go! Pressing the button to start a new era in NHS cancer treatment. Two young patients who had to travel to America for proton beam therapy, but today saw this machine slowly guided into place in Manchester. It's a cyclotron, weighing more than 10 double-decker buses. It'll send life-saving, high-energy proton beams into four treatment rooms here at the Christie Hospital. 12-year-old Emma Payton spent two months in America having successful proton beam treatment funded by the NHS, but soon patients like her will come here for a similar site being built in London. It makes it a lot easier for a lot of families who don't have to go all the way to America to have this treatment. And you're here right at the beginning, pressing the button, making it happen. What'd that feel like? It's pretty cool because I'm one of two people in the entire world to do that. This NHS animation uses a jelly to represent body tissue and shows that in conventional radiotherapy, X-ray beams pass through the patient, disrupting the cancer but also damaging that surrounding tissue. The all-important difference with proton therapy is that the beams target the tumour far more effectively, coming to a halt when they hit it, at which point they release a burst of energy focused on the cancer. It's a major leap forward, it's tremendous, you know, it's so exciting. You know, you've seen the cyclotron go in, that's stage one. But the thing is, this is exciting. With the research that we're doing, we can get even better. This is a huge project. At the moment, it's a building site. It'll become a state-of-the-art treatment centre. And these are just some of the hundreds of pieces of medical equipment and scientific apparatus that are going to be installed here, ready to treat the first patient in August 2018. Some private clinics are also developing proton beam centres across the UK in what experts say is a game-changing moment in our approach to cancer care. Peter Lane, 5 News.